See, if I, if I talk slow, it'll listen to me. Um, yesterday, I was asking a guy about a bench, and, it, and I sent, asking him about his bench. <laughs> he sent me a question mark. It was like, so, so you have to be careful with this talk to text. crew from this house to another house and we kind of just kind of encourage them to kind of stay here and try to get as much done because I really need to get this house moving. So we have already ordered the kitchen cabinets. Archer is going to come in and put hardwoods throughout the whole uh, main level and then we'll, we'll still put an LVP in the basement. Typically, you know, in a mountain brook house, especially one, you know, in the 700,000 range, we would want to put as much hardwoods as we can. But um, Really, in a basement, even though we've had it waterproofed, I just think that an LVP in the same color as a hardwoods works better in the basement. Luxury vinyl plank just tends to do better on concrete floors. Probably already had this house for two months, and uh, I just want to keep the crew um, here as much as I can to get stuff done. We have done, we have plumbed it. All the wiring is, is almost finished. All the framing's done, so we could get our rough inspections probably by early next week. The vanity we're gonna do is 60 inches. And, um, uh, yeah, I think you're right. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hold that right there, bud. 12 inches from there, we need it right here. So, our plumber has roughed in the plumbing, and it's too wide, so I would either have to bring in a custom vanity which is far more expensive, or I could use one of our um, vanities that I order in bulk. Did I put, did I plumb them in the wrong spot? Yeah, I, I don't know how you got that mark there, but have the center right here and the right one right here, okay, brother? In these nicer houses, we like to do a, um, a shower head and then maybe like a handheld. So when he does that, he has to put a diverter in here and then put a handheld so, you know, just, just a step above just a regular shower, right? Holding costs are always a big deal in Mountain Brook because, I mean, if, even if you pay cash for a house, you're still tying up your money. And then you have um, taxes are kind of expensive in Mountain Brook, very expensive actually on a non-homestead property. So we've got that problem to deal with, um, you know, utilities. Uh, and really, you, you want to get the 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 property back on the market as fast as you can because you never know what could happen in the marketplace. The range is right there in the middle, right? <clears throat> got one counter circuit over here. Okay. And, one more right and there. the fridge right there. And the fridge right there. And then I think what we might do is either do a little uh, coffee bar mm -hmm. on this wall mm -hmm. or, uh, or some pantries right there. Uh, when we first get the house, we would probably come in and like sit everything out. Uh, what I do, we probably start in one of the bedrooms. We'll cut some little squares, to, you know, little places that we're going to set our plugs and our switches at. And then we go out and cut the old wire out and stuff like that. And then from there, probably the next day, that's when we go in and start wiring stuff up. And I know it's already cut. I don't know. What are the chances of you having as close as you can to here? That's fine. I can okay. Get so have the switch right here. Mm -hmm. so, so if I wanted to put something here, I could, okay? Okay. okay. All right, cool. All right, All right thanks, brother. All right. Appreciate you, man. No when do you think we can have a rough here? I'm good. At the end of the day, tomorrow, we really? probably just have it. Have okay. It, have a Monday. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'd love that. Probably got one more, one more day over here. All right. The glass was out here. Do you remember that? And these were kind of open. So we put doors here. We actually repurposed these windows because windows are so hard to get. We have another house up the street that we took a sunroom out, so we repurposed these windows for this house. Reuben is bringing the brick back to case these windows out, so it'll kind of look like it was naturally already like that. We go to the 
Brickyard and try to match it as close as we can. And, um, you know, sometimes we can't get an exact match. In a house like this, it's very important to try to match it as much as we can. So I think we've done a pretty good job getting the match. Because we're painting this house, the color doesn't matter. We just need the same size and the same texture. And sometimes you can't get the exact texture, but when we blend it in with, with other bricks, maybe we pulled off the house, we can kind of blend them in and you really don't notice it. Are you working on the siding today or because of the rain you stopped that? The fence? Okay. Oh, it's not here yet. I'll check on that right now, okay? So I've got a dream team text. It's a group text of the dream team. That's all the project managers. And that's kind of how we all communicate all day long. You really can't put vinyl in Mountain Brook, right? So, so we chose hardy siding. Uh, this old siding was in terrible shape. Um, you know, rotted out, uh, layers and layers of paint. So we just pulled all that off. We are putting hardy siding because it's a great product. It lasts a lifetime. And, uh, and that's something that you can put in Mountain Brook. Probably one of the, of the most economical routes for a Mountain Brook house. L-E-T-S-G-O.